guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you want to see all of our new inventory every week, please hit that subscribe button. We get new cars in daily. Hit the like button. Appreciate you checking us out. Let's go. What is up, guys? Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. Got another Mustang for you. This one is very nice. This is above a driver quality. It's close to show. I will go through the car and show you everything going on with it. The good, the bad. There's already no ugly. I can tell you that right up front. We're going to do a full review of the condition so you know exactly what you get before you get it. If you like classic cars, I need you to hit the subscribe button right now. We get new inventory in every day. Leave me a comment. Give me feedback if you like the car, you like the price, stuff you don't like about it. And if you make it to the end of the video, leave me a comment. Rob, I made it to the end of the video and I will reply back to you because you are a true fan of mine by watching the whole video. Let's go ahead and get started. 1966 Ford Mustang. It's got a 289 with a C4 automatic transmission. Get started on the condition. We'll start with this door. Driver's side door. Driver's side door has no imperfections really. The paint's in good shape. It's got a good reflection in it. Now I did leave it out in the rain last night. Unfortunately, it's getting transported today. I'm moving it to my other shop. And I pulled it out of the garage so we can take it to get it stored inside. As you can see, we have a lot of cars outside here, but our other place, we store cars inside. We'll start, like I said, on this door. Door's in good shape. Body lines are good. Let's we'll see how the door closes. Finished in Wimbledon white. As you can see, the options on it there. It's the door tag. Go to this rear quarter. Got a little flaw right here. Roof's in good shape. Back quarter's in good shape. No dents, no dings, no rot, no rust, nothing. As far as the tire, tire's pretty much brand new. Hubcap's in good shape. Turn to the rear of the car. Body lines are nice. The trunk sits really good if you look on both sides. It's a little bit, the gap's a little bit more here. Then on this side, it's a little bit tighter. It's one thing I did notice. But like I said, I, driver quality, if it's a six or a seven and a 10 is a showroom car, I put this at like a solid 8.5. This is a car you get in every day. You can daily drive it. It looks great. There's no known flaws with it. Nothing mechanically wrong with it. The trim's all in good shape. Look at that bumper. And I've personally driven this car for probably a week or two. I would say 10 days I think I had it. And I had no issues with it. Starts up every time. Little flaw right here in the paint. Little crack back here. This quarter's nice. I don't see any Bondo or any waves in the paint. The clear is nice. Whoever painted this car did a good job when they restored it. Side's nice. Let's open the door in here. See how she shuts. This one even shuts better. Door jams look good. This is an AC car, by the way. It didn't work. I will show you shortly. Going to this side. Let's check that back tire. Two. Yeah, all tires are new. The guy put four of them. It was a local owned car in the area in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Going to the front, got a little flaw right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. That might just be dirt. Yeah, it's just dirt. Hood's nice, the hood sits good. The gaps look even on both sides, which is nice. And I did climb in it today and I checked if any water got in it. And usually they leak in here and the water gets through and there was no water on the carpet or anything, which is good. So it's holding up very well and it's not leaking. Back to this fender. 
clean, no flaws. Pretty much a really nice car, guys. Go ahead and look under it, get our light on. Undercarriage is the way it should be. Looks like all the pans were replaced, frame rail, all of it was done and done right. And inner fenders look good inside the quarters. I'll show you normally. Yeah, it looks like they did a solid job. He had it, I think, for five years. And he bought it fully restored. Really. All right, guys, so this has got a 289, and it looks like the original engine to the car. Everything seems to match. AC car. Now, it's original C-code car, which my Mustang guys know that this is a two-barrel carb. You got the original AC car here on the tag. Now, it does have power brakes installed. And it's a power steering car, which is nice. Pretty luxurious for what it is. I'll take you guys on the inside and then we'll open up the trunk. It's finished in this beautiful red. It's got the pony interior. Let me know guys, do you like the pony interior? Do you guys think that adds value to it? Does it add charm to it? Is it nice? Cause I really like it. I think it really makes it classy. It's got Pioneer speakers in the back that work. Now this does have an aftermarket radio in here. So that's not functional, it's for looks, but you have Bluetooth you can plug in, you can plug in your iPhone, whatever. AC, AC works. And then we'll try all the mechanics and make sure everything works on the inside. Let's grab the key. Trunk is nice, no rot. Looks like a new fuel tank at some point. Looks all nice. Comes with this nice little car cover. starts right up this thing sings it's so quiet it's factory exhaust so it's not loud not shaking not missing Horn works, 96,541 miles. Unknown of its actual miles, but this car could definitely have only 95,000 miles for 96,000, because it's, it's clean. This works, AC definitely works. Oh. Boom, turn signal. Turn signal.
lights work. The gas gauge works, oil light works. Temperature gauge, looks like it's starting to creep up. We'll keep an eye on it, make sure it's working. All right guys, I'm a one man show again. Let's see if we can get this heat on for us. In reverse nice drive is nice go back to reverse heat works perfect Guys, let me know if you're a fan of the pony cars. You guys like the cruisers? You ain't winning races on this one. Give me a comment. Say, I like the cruisers or... Nope. I want a muscle car. Oh, brakes feel good. My favorite thing about the Mustangs is when I drive, not, I'm not talking about the manual ones, but the automatic, I feel like I'm transported in time. My father's generation. I feel like a baby boomer and I'm just chilling. Because this is an art. Driving one of these, it's not like a regular car you just get in. One about 50 now, handling really good. This car holds the road very well. Hand off the steering wheel. Oh, and it stops so good. That power disc brakes, man, that makes a huge difference. I will say, if, you're, if you want a classic car just to be a daily driver, you better have power disc brakes. Drum brakes are okay, but they're fine if you're driving it weekends, but not every day. A lot of you guys might not drive these cars every day, but I get people out in California that like to drive these cars every day. Let's try a hard stop here at the stop sign. That did good. Not great, but it did good. It didn't stop as good as the Camaro did the other day, but it's a Mustang. What do you expect? Here's a shout out to my GM guys. I would say the stopping on a dime is probably seven out of 10. The overall brake experience though is probably a nine out of 10. For normal stopping, it feels great. We'll get on it a little bit here. Again, two barrel carb. Tranny shifts perfect, but you ain't winning races in this. Transmission shifts good, engine sounds good. I don't hear any crazy noises, the horn works. It looks like all the gauges works, lights work. It's a solid, solid car, guys. Now, if you wanna fly in, we are near Trenton, New Jersey. We are actually in Pendell, PA, Langhorn area, which is a suburb of Philadelphia, north of the city. We're between Philly and Trenton, closer to Trenton. If you fly into Philly International, we're about 45 minutes away, Trenton, Mercer Airport, we are about 15 minutes away. But we do ship all over the US. We can get to any port, and now we offer worldwide shipping. We work with an exporting company that will ship it overseas. But a lot of my clients want to keep these here in the good old USA. 
Guys, let me know what you thought about that test drive. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think this car is nice? Do you think it's worth the money? Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you checking out our page. Give me a call today. God bless the USA. Thank you for following me and helping me grow this page. Appreciate you guys. Take care. God bless.